I'm Miller Wilson and today I join you from Jinanbara and Gubby Gubby land. My YouTube channel showcases the most amazing flora and fauna in this area. And thanks to YouTube Fan Fest, today this is where the adventure begins, right at my house. I'm going to explain how I create my content, how I started my channel and what inspires me. So let's start heading up the creek and get into the adventure. <laughs> Look at this. So we've just made it down to the creek system and this pool right here is pretty special to me because this is the place where I filmed my first ever video on YouTube. From a very young age, I was so incredibly passionate about nature. I used to love watching Steve Irwin documentaries and I actually grew up on this creek system. So I used to come out here, interact with all the animals and experience the flora and fauna in this area. I actually used to go to school every day and tell my friends, oh, I saw an echidna or I found a snake. And they were like, why don't you film it? So I got a GoPro when I was about 12 years old, started documenting the videos and posting them right here on YouTube. But yeah, it's super cool to come back to the exact pool that I started this channel because this is where it all began, right here. Look at that. So he was actually trapped under this rock right here, and that is the beautiful non-venomous green tree snake. So often I get asked, what is the goal for my channel? What is my mission? And it's honestly just to bring people closer to nature, to show everyone how amazing these animals are. Some people are scared of snakes. I wanna show them that these guys aren't out to hurt you. Some people are afraid of sharks. I wanna show everyone how beautiful these animals are. And my end goal is just to spread the message of wildlife conservation. There you go, mate. Don't get trapped under any more rocks. So what some people don't realize is how much effort actually goes into making these videos. For instance, the last video that I posted on my channel was about platypus and that took me six months to make. Going out and filming them every couple days until I got enough footage to actually piece the video together. And a lot of the time I'm filming these videos by myself. So say I wanted to get a shot of me up on this waterfall up here, I'll have to put my camera down, climb all the way up around the side of the waterfall, get the shot of me on top of it, climb all the way back down and retrieve my camera, then climb up the top of the waterfall again and keep going. I also edit all of these videos myself, which sometimes takes upwards of 12 hours. But the finished product that you get at the end and the reward you get after everyone starts loving your videos is so worth it. And that's another reason why I still do it to this day. So after six years of creating content, you're probably wondering what inspires me to keep going? What inspires me to get outdoors? I have been so heavily inspired by animals and nature since I was so young and walking out into here, forgetting about everything else. Having an audience that loves the outdoors just as much as me really pushes me to get outdoors and create new content for all of you. Okay, so that was such a beautiful experience up this creek system. So I'm gonna start walking back home, back up to my house right now. But I just wanted to leave you with some advice for everyone wanting to start a YouTube channel out there. So when I was 12 years old, I was just a kid with a passion and a dream. And I decided to chase it. And YouTube was a platform that allowed me to do this. And I feel like people could see my passion through my content. So keep doing what you love and your passion will shine through your content. Thank you very much. I'll see you all again in the next adventure.